Hey, what's going on my friends? In this video, I want to share with you the latest, most important news about the SBA's PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program. With this update, it doesn't sound that good. And unfortunately, it isn't the greatest news because I know there are so many of you guys out there who are still struggling, who still need some additional support to keep your business, your self-employed business or your small business uh, afloat. And as you can see, the SBA second PPP loan round is running out of money and here's how much money is left and this article came out a few minutes ago or more specifically was updated a few minutes ago it came out a little earlier today but as of this evening tonight tuesday may 4th in which this video might get posted uh potentially after midnight maybe it'll be uh wednesday morning whatever the situation is this is the latest news the sba has informed trade associations that ppp funding has been exhausted and that it would stop accepting applications for new loans from most lenders. Now, this is where it's important. There is still $8 billion available. However, for community financial institutions such as minority deposit institutions, community development financial institutions, and others under a congressional mandated set aside, those institutions can continue to make loans. Essentially, as you heard at the beginning of this, the SBA has informed trade associations that the PPP funding has been exhausted and that it would stop accepting applications for new loans for most lenders. So unfortunately, I think a lot of you guys out there who may have been thinking about it still, who have been kicking the can and just kind of like, oh, I'll do it next week. I'll do it next week. Uh, you know, the, the program isn't supposed to end until May 31st, as you see right here. So people have been like, I still got time. Mm -mm. Unfortunately, a lot of you guys may have missed the boat for this particular program. Now, fortunately, if you guys are subscribers, if you are regular viewers on my channel, you know I do cover a lot of local and national government grants and loan programs. So there are other resources out there. I do have a link down below to my website, a few different spreadsheets that have a ton of different programs that are available that you guys can essentially you still benefit from. You just gotta shoot your shot. You gotta try. Too often people are like, oh, you know, there's no more like help and no assistance. There's no way to make money. It's like I'm creating videos on all of these topics on this channel, on my other channel, Make Manage Grow Money. So no, there's money out there to be made, money that is being handed out still from different programs. You just got to look, you got to shoot your shot. But regarding the PPP, man, unfortunately, a lot of you guys might have missed out. But as we read, there is still $8 billion dollars available for community financial institutions such as minority deposit institutions community development financial institutions and others we can jump into this article a little bit but this information here is the most important kind of the key and most updated information regarding the sba ppp as i mentioned a moment ago the small business administration's second round of the paycheck protection program relief is running out of money weeks before its may 31st deadline so a lot of people kicking the can down the street like I got another week to do it. I got another few weeks. I got a month. Hey, this money might be all out. Congress has authorized about $291.7 billion for the popular forgivable loan program over the course of several pieces of legislation. But once lender fees and the interest on existing PPP loans is included, the agency likely had between $278 billion and $281 billion in funding at its disposal for new loans, according to a May 3rd analysis by the National Association of Guaranteed Government Lenders. As of May 2nd, the SBA had approved $258 billion in loans with another $7 billion worth of loans reserved for loans in process and those that had been held up by so-called hold codes. Now, it says down here, this is, you know, I guess good news, loans already at the SBA have until June 30th to clear that process in order to be funded. The SBA has also set aside $10 billion in funding for PPP loans for community financial institutions, including small banks, community development financial institutions, and micro lenders. After taking into account that $10 billion, the held loans interest to be paid on existing PPP loans and lender fees, the SBA likely has about $1.3 billion in unrestricted PPP funding for small businesses. Now, most importantly right here, my friends, after publication of this story, the American Bankers Association said it had been informed by the SBA that PPP funding had been exhausted and it would stop accepting applications for new loans from most lenders.
According to the ABA, there is still $8 billion available, and this is what we read at the beginning of this article. There's still $8 billion available for community financial institutions such as minority deposit institutions, community development financial institutions, and others. Those entities can continue to make loans. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I will have a link to this article down below so you guys can continue to read it if you are interested in um, reading more of what's in here. I also have a link to the PPP program where you can potentially still get up to $20,833 if you are self-employed. And as this is suggesting, essentially a minority. And now I have to look into the details with the Wampley program to see how many minority deposit institutions are connected with them. But that said, if you do apply, worst case scenario, they're just going to deny you if you aren't approved or if they don't have any of those kind of partnerships intact there that would allow you to still apply for this program. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of people, I think, will have missed the boat that probably still could have qualified. But a lot of people did benefit from the second round of money that came out as well. You know, I just want to make sure you guys got this latest news. I will try to keep you guys updated as they roll out some more news around a new potential um, round of funding. Ending. maybe they won't maybe they're just gonna say hey this is it right here only time will tell but you guys already know if you subscribe to the channel if you hit that notification bell you will be able to stay up to date on the latest news regarding the ppp the eidl and tons of other local and uh, national grants and loan programs and of course like this video it does show me that you guys appreciate the content that i'm creating and I appreciate you guys spending some time with me watching this video. But on that note, you already know I got to keep it moving, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace.